so sorry. I didn't want to scare you. Hmm? You must be the new neighbor. Oh, yes, I saw that they were bringing people to visit this apartment. And hmm, I must say that you are the one that looks more, let's say, normal. Yes, they brought here so many different people and all of them, I didn't like them. But you, you look quite the type, I must say, so I really, really wanted to meet you as soon as possible. Oh, right, I know, I know, you must be so tired. Mm, in the end, uh, what is uh, um, something like past midnight? Yes, I'm so sorry to disturb you, but I really needed to make your acquaintance as soon as possible. Oh, but my manners, sorry. I am Sarah. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Ah, uh, you see, I live right here in the apartment next to yours. <laughs> so, it's really important that we know each other better. I must know if you are like, I don't know, a weirdo. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, you look like a no right person, but I must say that the one that was in this apartment before absolutely wasn't, let's say, normal. Mm, I don't know, he kinda had the look of a serial killer. Yes, I was so scared to live nearby him. So, I mean, I might have pressed him to live as quickly as possible. The landlord wasn't very happy with me, but I mean, I must have decent neighbors. Don't you think so? <laughs> um, you look really sweet. <laughs> I'm so happy that you, you decided to take this apartment. So, let me ask you a quick question first. What made you decide to come living here? Oh yes, this is a pretty famous building in the city. It's quite old, but uh, they are renovating it. <laughs> like my apartment, I renovated it a year ago and I must say that it looks quite cozy. Perhaps one of these days you would like to visit it. Cool. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I really can see it. You are quite tired. Um, yeah, tell me more about your moving. Where are you from? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Really? Good, good. But, just a moment. I brought something for you. Just a little welcoming gift. Here. So, 
mac and cheese it's something very easy to cook you know I thought perhaps since you were moving at this late hour you didn't have the time to buy some groceries and I really didn't want that you to starve on your first day here <laughs> I mean, you are so very welcome. <laughs> so, what do you think about um, this place? I know, I know that you just arrived, but I need to be sure that you feel comfortable. I mean, if you need anything, just ask me I mean sugar, coffee some gossips mm -hmm. would you like to know more about our neighbors? I mean I can understand that you are not that type but perhaps you really want to know who you need to Let's say, avoid. Oh, darling, you look like a very kind person. Perhaps a little bit um, naive. I'm not trying to insult you, but there are people and people you need to make a difference between them, between the one you can trust and the one that you absolutely want to avoid. Me? <laughs> of course, I am one of the people you can trust. Mm. Well, I've been living here for quite some years and I know it all mm. <laughs> oh, no, please just stay here to chit chat with me a little bit longer <laughs> oh yes I can see why you are so tired but Meeting each other is a priority. You can sleep later, and I mean, do you have something to do tomorrow? See, usually when someone moves, takes a couple of days of work, so you have time to rest tomorrow. And now, well, you have time to meet me better. <laughs> Mm. Gossips about me. No one would dare to say something nasty about me. Let's make a path. You stay here a little bit longer, allowing me to know you better. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to have someone like the last neighbor living nearby me I'm, I'm just a ghoul he was scaring me so I really need to make sure that you are the sweetest neighbor ever just allow me to take some of your time and in exchange I will help you to sleep better mm. oh darling it is my job to help people sleep mm. no it's not like I have a degree or something like that but have you ever heard about he has um a Mm, then, darling, 
I will teach you something about it. It's a heart of whispering and comforting into sweet, sweet dreams. <laughs> like some night tapping to ease your thoughts from your mind. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm quite the type, but I swear I will be the best neighbor you ever had if you will be the same. Of course, like, you absolutely don't need to make any noise. I'm really someone that loves quiet environment hmm? like can you hear all this noise around us hmm. oh, you will just need to get used to it to learn how to live in this place mm -hmm. I mean cutie you just need to Relax a little. <laughs> oh yes, darling. I can truly see that you are pretty tired. But please, just indulge a little longer with me. Hmm? Would you? In the end, you can sleep tomorrow. <laughs> well, yes, technically, he's already tomorrow since he's past midnight, but it's still night. I would consider it yesterday. <laughs> I mean, you are till now, I guess, the mm, better looking neighbor I ever had. And apart your cuteness, you seem a very right person. Not like the one before. I mean, I'm a girl living alone. I was pretty scared by him. He had such a stare. <laughs> I'm so happy that he left. <laughs> oh, no. I guess... Uh, I really don't know why he left. He kept telling something about his neighbors. Mm. Well, do you think it was because of me? I assure you that I'm the best neighbor you will ever have. Cutie, just, just focus on me a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Look, look at me. Do I look like, oh, I don't know, a um, nasty person? Perhaps that a little bit. But I really want this palace to be a good place where to live. I care about it. I care about the other neighbors. Are you sure that you don't want to share some gossips with me? Mm -hmm. So, are you ready for some gossips? You believe you don't want to know them, but in reality, you do. Trust me. I'm quite specialized in them. I mean, yes, privacy is one thing, but you need to know people, especially the people you live nearby close. Uh -huh. Take for example, Gabrielle. She lives in the apartment below. 
and she keeps inviting very, very strange people in her house. She keeps saying that she is some kind of psychologist, just as a hobby because she studied it, so she does it like a side job. But trust me, I don't believe her. All those people, those strange people, around here in this balance, it really makes me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then, then there is John. He lives uh, on the second floor, a bit on the left, and guess what? I heard that he's the brother of a, of a Hollywood star. <laughs> yes, right? He doesn't want others to know it. I don't know what, but I know it. I made quite some researches. I told you, I like to know who lives close. Me. Mm. So you mean, there is something that you would like to share? Mm. Mm. You are right. I'm, I'm too close. In the end, we just have met, right? But I plan to meet you even better to know you deep, deep inside your heart. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to gossip about you. Perhaps a little. I mean, you really look like a very interesting person and perhaps it can happen that I will speak about you. Maybe with my parents. Like, I'm not flirting. Perhaps a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on. Just relax a little bit. It's not like I flirt with the first person I see. But in your case, I must, I must tell you a secret. You see, I quite observed you when you come to visit this apartment, deciding if you wanted to rent it or not. And I might have convinced the landlord to make you a discount. Are you grateful? Mm -hmm. See, I am not so bad. Don't you think so? I mean, I was pretty, pretty sure that you were the right one. You really seemed quiet and with a certain style mm -hmm. not like Luis <sighs> that guy have you seen his home? of course you didn't you just arrived but <sighs> he really needs a maid I tell you he isn't able to keep that house in order. He keeps buying stuff on Amazon and he has a lot of packages everywhere, lots of stuff. Hmm? Yeah, well, I offered him to help, but he didn't like it. I mean, I'm a good neighbor. As I told you, if you just need anything, I will be right here for you. I mean, right there. Please, just remember that is my door. 
Dot. Mm -hmm. You can knock at any time. But now, since I'm a very, very good neighbor, allow me to mm, give you a gift. Oh, not the mac and cheese. I mean, you can eat that or you can't. I just, I must say, that I know that it's kind of a kid stuff, but I really like it. And it's fast to cook. A very important thing for me. I mean, I'm so busy. <laughs> but I was saying that perhaps I can help you to sleep. Mm -hmm. I learned a bit of that kind of art called ASMR. Mm -hmm. You know it. Good, 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 good. Then allow me to do some ASMR on you to help you sleep and relax and to welcome you in your new home because I really hope that you will love to stay here. We are going to be so very nice with each other. Very, very, very good neighbors. Hmm? Now, I know that moving can be so very hard. And you really need to sleep and relax. So now, <laughs> just focus on my beautiful nail heart. <laughs> I mean, my hands moving. And just You will go to sleep and you will sleep very well without snoozing. I mean, don't make any noise. Mm -hmm. I like very quiet neighbors, tranquil people. Mm -hmm. So now. It's okay. It's time to just relax and let all the fatigue go away. You are safe in your new home. I will watch over you. I will make sure that no one will disturb you and that you will feel home. It's okay. It's okay. Welcome to your new home, my sweet, nice new neighbor. So pleased to meet you. Now, just go and relax. Just relax. I will ask you more questions tomorrow. <laughs> so rest well. Bye. Good, 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 good night.